Good morning again, fifth grade. Today we are ready for our oral book report in language. I want you to turn to page 184. Turn to page 184 in your language book. Today we're going to write one or two note cards that will guide you in giving your oral report. Um, basically they'll be there in case you forget something or in case, um, just to make sure you remember the most important information when you're giving your report. So, when you're at page 184, let's go over what exactly we'll be doing today. So yesterday you should have already written your book report, a regular book report, you should have that finished. So our first step here is write your report using the writing process and you did that yesterday. Now, step two and three, well, pretty much the rest of the steps are for today's lesson. Step two is write the main points of your report on index cards if you need to. Refer to these cards during your report only when necessary. Um, just reading from the book here. Okay, so they show you their index cards that they used for their oral report. You're going to write the title, the author, the type of book, the number of pages, the setting, summary. That's just um, kind of a general idea of what happened in the book. Then a character sketch, which is explaining your main character. And then recommendation, what you, why you think someone should read it or why you think someone should not read it. So look at the book report you did yesterday to get ideas for what is important to include on this today. And you can use your book as well if you need to refer to things that happen in the story to help you know what to write as well. Write your index cards. Hopefully you have some around. If you happen not to have any index cards, just find a small piece of paper or something to use. Uh, but you should have one or two index cards written with your notes for your oral report. Now, the next thing you need to do today is practice saying your report out loud. You can practice in the mirror or you can practice to your siblings and speak in a clear voice. Um, try not to use um like I just did. Don't join your sentences with uh, so, and then things like that. Stand correctly with good posture. Look at the people that you're speaking to. Smile. Wear nice clothes. Stop talking when you're finished and take your seat. You will be doing this on Tuesday to your family. Um, it doesn't have to be your whole family, whoever's around when you're ready to do your oral report, or it can be your whole family. Um, but on Tuesday, as part of your work, you will need to give your oral report to some of your, some or all of your family. Practice your report today. Well, first of all, write your notes on your index cards, follow on page 184 just like they did, and then practice your oral report, and once you're ready, that's all you need to do for language today and Tuesday you'll be giving your oral report. Let me know if you have any questions, work carefully, and I will talk to you later.